Lines of trenches with men scrambling over the top, one of the iconic images of World War I. But a hundred years on, and far from northern France, something very similar has been found, not on the battlefields, but here in Hampshire. Robert Hall's been taking a look. Final rehearsals for a deployment overseas. The last chance to run through tactics before the real thing. A century ago, another British army was preparing for battle. And their training grounds mirrored the trench systems extending across Europe. This land near Gosport is still in use by modern troops, but an observant historian studying an aerial photo noticed the distinct shape of an entire battlefield which had survived under the heather and gorse. We know it was a major launch area for the Western Front, and this would have been, I have an image of last minute training. Um, before they face the real thing. And of course a lot of them never came back. Absolutely, and I mean we all have people we know buried out there. I've got five relatives buried on the Western Front. And this, it's a pretty elaborate system here. The historian you, Dan Snow says the battlefield is one example of the hidden home front landscape which we can all help to identify. People should be looking out for anything unusual. The local church hall, community centres, uh, buildings that were requisitioned and used for, by the people, by American troops coming. There's hardly an inch of this country wasn't touched by the First World War in some way. This building near Winchester is a rare survivor from a long vanished transit camp. Two million soldiers used Morn Hill during the years of war, and yet there's little to betray their passing. We've decided, because there is so little here, to put up interpretation boards on this site so that people can see how enormous the camp was. Pretty much as far as the eye could see, there were buildings for soldiers. Barracks and battlefields hinting at what was to come. But all too soon a distant memory amid the mud and the bloodshed of the Western Front. Robert Hall, BBC News, Hampshire.